Hey guys, welcome back to Mind Your Biz. My name is Seth and you're watching, obviously, Mind Your Biz. Today I've got the special treat of bringing somebody on who is a builder in the metaverse space, a very high-powered lady who you haven't seen because she's behind the scenes most of the time. We've had a couple of really great conversations recently and audience, I need to tell you, you need to know that this is sponsored content indirectly. Uh, Mary and Seek, they are clients of a company that I work for. So it is an indirectly sponsored video, but, uh, but don't let that fool you. I was really, really looking forward to this. And I'm so glad, Mary, that you finally were able to make some time for me. I know it was really busy. Um, but Mary, welcome to Mind Your Biz. Thank you. Thank you. Excited yeah. to be here. Yeah. So for the benefit of the Mind Your Biz community and the audience tuning into this interview, Mary, tell us a little bit about like you. Who was Mary uh, at Seek in 30 seconds? So I am the founder of uh, Seek VR. I'm also a deep space engineer and um, have been in the blockchain space for what feels like forever, you know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love everything VR and I'm a huge, huge uh, metaverse enthusiast. I've been building the metaverse before people even knew what the metaverse was. Awesome. Okay, so you've been you've been defending and reclaiming words like metaverse and AR versus VR versus uh, other you know metaverse type experiences for a while. It sounds like and helping to establish that in in the common lexicon. Uh, you're you're creating the vocabulary for us in this space. It sounds like. Yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, back in was it 2014 or 2015, we actually even presented a concept to Facebook. And it all it talked about the metaverse. So, you know, thankfully it's still online, but we painted this whole uh, picture of what the metaverse would look like in terms of being this fully immersive world with, um, you know, the ability to pay with tokens and all the stuff that's happening now. So it's super exciting to see it happen unfolding. That's awesome. And I know I've been hearing sort of whisperings about the the Seek VR uh hardware as well as a Seek platform for some time. I mean, anybody who's kind of uh, works with the, the news cycle of crypto, blockchain, and now the burgeoning worlds of, you know, Web3 and Metaverse um, in, in our in our space, like we've seen this, right? We heard it at least kind of more in the background, getting ready. Okay, when can we start talking about this more openly? When are we going to hear more about it? When is something really substantial going to be delivered? So, so I've heard about it, but um, can you tell my audience more, Mary, about the Seek platform, Seek VR, all, all of that. Give us kind of the elevator pitch. What's it, what is it all about? So Seek is a metaverse platform that allows uh, creators, you know, we work primarily with uh, music artists, uh, sports teams, and other educational facilities and so on to engage the audiences in virtual worlds. So we've worked with the likes of Lady Gaga and, you know, Katy Perry and Bon Jovi and the list goes on to create these virtual worlds in which they can actually, their fans can step inside their world and engage with them. Um, and we've integrated the blockchain to allow for a lot of uh, very easy, you know, functions. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you for that. So on Mind Your Biz, most of my audience is aware that I did a stint as a Fortune 50 trainer for a lot of retail or uh, I should say consumer tech companies. So it's really important to me to kind of educate my audience who many of whom are retail investors or who are retail and uh, consumer tech con like uh profiles to mm -hmm. help them understand that at least in the Silicon Valley space, in the tech startup and investing space, team is so important and problems and solutions become sort of the, the, the basis for what brings those teams together. Can you tell us really briefly, what was the, the big problem that Seek was trying to solve when it was first conceived? We wanted to create a super easy platform for mass adoption. So, you know, I love VR. We were seeing VR as such a huge market. And we knew that in order for it to reach the levels that we have with social media, it has to be simple. It has to be simple from the creator perspective. And it also has to be simple from the user perspective. So we wanted to create a platform that made it super easy for people to distribute content and then also for users to be able to access that content. So that's the problem that we were solving. It's a simple problem, but it's a big problem. 
<laughs> oh yeah, no, absolutely. The the the, the uh, absolutely the most the most deceptively difficult problem to solve is making something simple, like automotive engineering, right? Oh, just make it go faster. There are a thousand variables that go into that, right? Like just make yeah. it go faster, right? Or, or just make it more fuel efficient. What do you mean more right. fuel efficient? Decrease right. weight, increase compression levels for internal combustion. Do we go with a different drivetrain? Um, so I, th- there's a lot to unpack there, and hopefully we can do a longer version of this in the future, um, mm-hmm. but awesome. So from a high level overview, you said, okay, our problem is really simple. Just like do the thousand things that make the user experience uh, easy. Then easy. essentially is what yeah. I'm hearing. Exactly. exactly. Okay, got it. So, so you took on like a massive engineering feat then to mm-hmm. be able to deliver simplicity to mm-hmm. kind of a retail consumer oriented avatar, and yep. um, and uh, it sounds like you're, you're getting really close. And I want to get to some up, upcoming milestones in a minute, but I'm really curious. Uh, being kind of you know engineering oriented kind of uh, technologically oriented myself what were some of the big obstacles and hurdles that you guys found along the way and how long has it taken you to overcome them like how long has a solution been in the making so some of the biggest challenges were the um, devices themselves you know i remember setting up when i first went to universal music to present them with the concept And we were setting up, I'm not going to say which headset it was, but it required so much space and that it took such a long time to have everything set up. And so our, you know, partners at Universal are looking and they're saying, you're deep space scientists and it's taking you this long to set this up. You put rockets in space and satellites and all that. And it's taking you this long to set it up. The music fan is not going to take this much time. It's too complex. Come back with something that's super easy and something that meets the music fan where they are. And so that's exactly what we did. We created a, you know, a very easy to use VR headset and then, you know, uh, spatialized audio and built the platform and brought it back to them. And so once we brought it back to them, they said, yeah, now we can have something that we can give to the fans of Lady Gaga. We can give to the fans of Demi Lovato. And, you know, and for us, the markers uh, that we were going in the right direction was the fact that we were able to deliver products, you know, for Megadeth, for example, that 20,000 people stood in line at Best Buy to buy, and then it sold out, and the artist was able to make it to number one on Billboard, and just so many good things came out of it, and, you know, Grammys and whatnot. Um, And then subsequent to that, the artists themselves said, yes, we want to be part of this platform, Uh, and the users were able to also consume the content in a very effective and efficient way, so... That's phenomenal. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So win, 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 obviously. So commercial right. success. So the artists and, and the distributors were on board clearly because they, they saw the, the business case. And uh, if users thought it was simple, I mean, kudos, that's just amazing. Plus Megadeth, right? Throwback. I mean, right. they're, they're amazing, right? Obviously. But yeah. those of us who've been around long enough to remember them when they were new, remember them when they were new. So <laughs> good, good for you and good for them. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we've had Megadeth and so many others. The interesting thing is even with bands like, with legacy bands like Megadeth, they are having like a whole new audience, you know? Um, So like Dave Mustang, I remember he said that they went to, they were in Russia someplace one time and they went and they looked at the audience and they see like 50 year olds and all these young people and they thought they were on the wrong stage. So he's like leaving it. They're like, no, 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 that's that's your fans. So I, I think that a lot of these bands are new again. That's amazing. No, I mean, from a marketing perspective, being able to capture a, a different quadrant or whatever, how, however you want to frame it, a totally different demographic. I'm so a quadruple win. That's amazing. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm at, I'm always at risk when we start to talk about something like like getting me started on a track like this is not the hard part. It's getting me to stop talking. I'm um, getting me to focus a little bit because now I want to explore more about that. But in the interest of time, making sure that our audience knows kind of what's next from Seek. Are there any upcoming milestones or any any big announcements that the Mind Your Biz audience would be interested in knowing or that maybe they could participate in? Yeah, so currently we have a land sale that's upcoming. And so with the land sale, it allows, again, for anyone interested in building something in the metaverse to be able to buy land in the Seek metaverse, and then they can build custom things 
uh, for their audience, or they can even build a venue, which then can be used by the artists that are on our platform. So we have a very circular economy that's going in the sense that you buy the land, and then there are people that are waiting to do events in the particular you know venue. And we also have a marketplace that will allow it to be no code. You can just drag and drop a venue onto your land and then make that available for celebrities or for whoever that wants to hold an event. It can be a music concert, it could be a workshop, it could be, you know, it could be just people hanging out. But what whenever they pay for that particular event, those ticket sales, we are, you know, providing rewards back to the landowners and stuff like that. So that's what's, you know, right now on our in our direct target in terms of what we're doing now. Okay, phenomenal. So I guess the, the, the big questions are then, where can the Mind Your Biz audience find Seek and what should they do when they get there? <laughs> so they can find Seek. Uh, they can follow us definitely on Twitter. It's just C-E-K, Seek. Um, and once they get there, I mean, we have a lot of updates that are going on regarding the land sale. They could also, of course, go to seek.com and click on land and they'll be able to access the land sale um, currently, we have uh, some lots for sale, but um, we have the next phase that's uh, coming soon, actually coming starting next week. So they can definitely check out everything that's happening, you know, through our Twitter and then also on Seek.com. Yeah. And just to, for uh, for the sake of clarity, when we say next week today, as of the time of recording, I, th I think we're slated to release this one on Mind Your Biz right when that event is happening. So can you give us a date? So uh, in terms of a date, so we're looking at, um, so at any time after August 1st. Okay, phenomenal. So uh, Mind Your Biz community, you, you heard it straight from, from Mary, the founder of Seek's Mouth. Uh, August 1st is go time for you. So <laughs> pay attention to, uh, to the links that you see down in the description of this video. Mary, such a pleasure being able to talk to you and, uh, and introduce you to the Mind Your Biz community. Uh, is there anything else that, that you think is important for us to know? Or is there a question that I should have asked that I didn't ask? By no, all means. Thank you. This has been great. I can't wait to come back. It's just been uh, phenomenal. So thank you very much. And I'm excited to be here today. Yeah, no, the pleasure is all mine. Thank you for your time. Mind your biz community. Go check out Seek. Again, the links are down in the description. Check out all the socials, every relevant link that you could possibly need that Mary mentioned. We've listed for your convenience, so you can just click it down in the description of this video. Remember, mind your biz audience. You're the reason I make this media. I love your face. Remember to stay private and mind your biz.